So they're getting ready to pour the footers here. It's a little chilly out, but it's not too bad. Not too cold for concrete, they say. So doing the footers for the basement walls and then I guess they're gonna do the footer out front for the porch and the garage over there. The forms that they use there are plastic and those actually work as the footer drain then. They're hollowed out with holes in them and they fill stone around there. The concrete guys are done for the day. Today's December the 19th and it's barely above 30 degrees during the middle of the day here. I was a little nervous that they'd be able to pour this week but it seems like it's not an issue. There's water in the concrete, you don't want that to freeze or it would destroy it. They have these insulated tarps laid on top of it now just to keep some of the heat in there. I guess tomorrow already they're gonna set these forms in and be able to pour it. It's pretty cool, I can be at work and stop in here on my way past throughout the day, see what's going on. So it's the next day here. These guys have all the forms set up. Looks like they're getting ready to pour this concrete soon. So we've got nine foot basement walls and then they have these footers up in the front of the house for the porch and the garage over there. This here's a staircase. We have Belco doors, so you can get down to the basement. That's all built into the forms. Never seen that done before, it's pretty cool. We just got a delivery of some wood shavings that we're gonna be trying. So these are pine and they're more shavings than sawdust. They say that pine has some antibacterial qualities to it. We're gonna try this for bedding on the free stalls just to hopefully help reduce the mastitis issues we've had. This stuff is a little more expensive but we think we might like it on the free stalls. It's at least worth trying something different. This morning we're going to be cleaning out our special needs pen Got a nice cold day, so the ground's frozen. My dad set the skid steer up there already. I'm gonna fire up this 7220 with the manure spreader. I got the walls poured yesterday, and this morning they're here pulling the forms off. So I wasn't sure if that would work with uh, it being a little chillier out, if it'd be solid enough by now, but it looks like it's not a problem. One thing I need to do before I get started is break these beaters loose. They just freeze a little bit. This is my fourth spreader now. Trying to keep it moving so the cows don't have to stand too long. It's kind of fun spreading when you got a 
bunch of steam coming out behind. Dad's here to help now. He's gonna take spreaders out and I'll clean up the edges while he's hauling. Get this small calf pen cleaned out and push everything together so we can keep the spreader moving as quick as possible. Gotta clean up the edges a little bit, put some bedding in. So nice with the concrete floor in here. Makes this job a lot more fun. We got one area to clean there where dad has to pull the gate open and keep the cows back while I scoop it out. Dad got the bedding thrown in here. Seems like with the pen expanded, it's able to get a little bit more of a pack build up in there. It doesn't spill out the sides as quickly. Usually after about five weeks, it was full this time. It was almost eight weeks. They got all the formers pulled off. Just two days to get this all done. Pretty impressive. So there's the window well. We got one window in the basement. Put a hole through it there. If we want to put a pellet stove or something down in the basement at some point. And out front here, this is the footer for the porch. We're gonna have to get fill in here. And this will be the garage. This will all get filled in as well. The way the plans worked out, we got that big section of the basement, and this is that finger I was talking about coming off this way. We might as well make basement underneath that. We have room for our utilities and everything down in there. It was really interesting how they were able to form this staircase right in with the walls. It's all poured together, so it's, it's really good because water can't leak through anywhere. It's all sealed up. 
seemed to me like a really efficient way to make steps. We'll have to give it a few days before we can backfill it. Probably be next week till we get to doing that. I think we're gonna try to get some stone in along the bottom tomorrow. But you wanna make sure you let those walls harden enough before you put dirt against them. And this is the sump here, all the footer drains. These are the forms they use for the footers. They have these little slits cut into them so water can leak into those, pipe through, and it can be pumped out if needed. Not sure we'll have too much trouble with water, but that's there if we need it. And then this right here is for our water line coming in. We're gonna have to get that set up at some point. And this narrow part of the basement, we'll have plenty of space along the wall for water softener and filters and put our water heater and everything set up here. It just gives us some nice uh, utility area there. It's eight foot wide, so pretty good. We're gonna have to get all these forms out here and then we can get a feel for the size of it more. It's a big old window. I didn't realize how big these were. You actually be able to get some light down through here. This is the south side of the building, so it'll shine in some. That's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was going on here. Want to get it backfilled and then hopefully probably be two weeks from now until they're framing. Feels sort of like I'm in a bunker silo here. I guess we could fill this with silage if we need to. Okay, see you guys later.